Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing this evening? Today is January the 12th, I think. I know it's Sunday, but I'm really not sure on the date. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to get up here and share with you guys some finished objects that I have just got done the last few days. And then, well, one of them I did today, and that was a lot of fun. And then I've got a new whip I started today, and I got the other two whips that I kind of did a little bit on, but the other one I haven't touched it. I haven't been in the mood for it. <laughs> Not quite yet. Yet, that is. <laughs> but anyway, um, my first finished object I want to share with you is Benny the Bear. I got him done. I finished him the other day, and uh, I had to still use the little hook. I, 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 uh, I just can't use the big hook on them. But that's okay. I'm used to the 3.5 on making my ammies. And maybe um, one of these times I'll double strand it and try it with the bigger hook. But we'll see. But anyway, I think he turned out really cute. This is a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Toasted Almond. And this, I don't know because I lost the ball band to it. But this is a pattern by Sarah Zimmerman. And it is in this book right here. Crochet Cute Critters. And so the next one is the letter C, and it's a kitty cat. And it's really cute, too. Let's see if I can find it real quick and show it to you. Um, I'll get to it sometime, but I'm not in the mood to do it right now. <laughs> but that's the next one. I'm tempted to make it solid white, because I used to have a solid white cat. He had one blue eye and one green eye. And his name was Ozzy. He was my buddy. But anyway... That's what I have there. That's my first one. Okay. Now, my next one I want to share with you. I've been on a um, thing of wanting to learn new stitches. And I forgot that I had this book right here. And it's got different stitches in there that you can learn. I like to get me one of those bigger books that I've seen. It looks kind of like a... It's, it's got nothing but different stitches in there that you can learn, is what I'm trying to say. I like to get me one of them. But anyway, I found one up here, and, it, and it's the cross stitch, and I've never done it before. So I decided I wanted to try at making a scarf with it, and that's what I did. So here it is. It's an infinity scarf, and I really like the way it turned out. Um, I'll try it on and show you guys. I don't really know how to wear these things, so anyway, I ended up doing like 23 stitches, I do believe, because it calls for an even number, and then you add one more, and then you skip the first stitch, and you double crochet in the next stitch, and then the 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 stitch that you skip, you go back and double crochet in it. And that's where you get the crisscross. So anyway, it was a lot of fun to make. And the yarn that I did it out of, let me get it off real quick, is one that I got at Hobby Lobby the other day. I ended up going to Hobby Lobby because I needed um, some more of that green that I used up. So I was going to order it. But then I decided I, I like going in person and looking because I'm, I like it. I like to be able to look at all of it because then I end up buying more than what I'm supposed to. I shouldn't do that, but I do sometimes. I try not to. But anyway, but it turned out really pretty. And the color is really, really pretty. I love that. It's squishy too. And the yarn that I used is Yarn B Soft and Slick, Sleek, I guess that's how you say it. Low peel fiber. The colorway is ivory. Ivory stripe. Because it's got a little bit of uh, darker brown in there. And it's got just a hint of a little bit of a yellowy kind of a color in there. And this has got like 186 yards. And it's a medium four. And yeah. So I ended up using a whole one. And then I had this much left out of the other one. So it was a lot of fun to make this. And I literally enjoyed it because, you know, a new stitch. And then I just made it myself. So that was exciting. <laughs> okay. 
And then the next one that I made, I made a different one this time. Now, actually, I made that one first, and then I made that one. And I used a size 6 millimeter hook on that one there that I just showed you. Now, the next one, I had this cake of yarn for over a year, and I thought, I need to do something with it. And it's the Sugar Wheel, Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel. It's from Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It's called Strawberry Splash. And it's such a beautiful color. It was almost where I just wanted to look at it all the time, you know. It just pretty to look at. <laughs> so anyway, I decided I needed to use it. And so I found a pattern. I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's a mess. I found a pattern and it's called Sunset Scarf by Kathy Lashley. And it's free on her blog. And here you go really fun and it was super fast to make but look at all the colors it's really pretty and I wanted to make it because it looks Valentine you know there's gray and that color looks like it's brown on there but it's not it's kind of a mauvey I don't know it's a rusty looking color it just to me it looks Valentine-y but anyway I'll model it for you and here we are it's nice and squishy too but I think it turned out really pretty. Now, my next one I'm going to make, and I'll show you the yarn here in a minute. I'm wanting to make another one with another stitch out of that book to where it'll be, I want it, I want it to be a little closer. Because in the mornings, when I get up, I have chores to do outside. And it is cold because I got to get out there sometimes between 7 and 7.30. And it's really still, it's super cold. And in the afternoon, I do the chores too. So when that wind's blowing, I like to have something up against my neck. And the regular scarf that I wear, wear hangs down. And I wanted something that'll go around my neck. So I'm going to try to come up with another one that I can uh, wear out there. But anyway, this is a free one on her blog. And like I said, it was really fast to make. And it was fun. And yeah. Looks like the granny stitch, granny square stitch. And I used a, I think it was a five and a half millimeter hook. Yep, five and a half millimeter hook on this one. And I only had this much left on the ball. So it didn't quite take it. And that was like 300 and, uh, 355 yards on that one. So that was a lot of fun to make too. So now I'm on a scarf kick. And so whenever I was at Hobby Lobby the other day, I ended up buying some uh, yarn that I normally, I've never bought before. And so I came across this one. And it's called Rustic Romantic Yarn Bee. And this one, I love this color. It is Red Rhodes. Isn't that pretty? And so I got two of these, and this one's got 220 yards in it, and it's a number four. Very pretty. I got two of them like that, and then I ended up getting, I've got it somewhere. Oh, yeah, I stuck it over here. I'm sorry. I'm just all over the place today. I ended up getting another one, and then I got a, a goldy color, and it's called Oaky Week. I love those little flecks in there like that. It's so pretty. So I'm going to make this one for like fall. And that one too for fall. And I end up getting two of them. And this is the same color that I used on that first scarf. That I showed you. Okay. So that's what I got there. And then I end up buying some more of them sugar wheels. Man, they're just so pretty. Look at that. Just to look at. I know that to, on the phone... The colors don't look real vibrant, but boy, in person it sure is. But I can see um, another scarf out of this. And this looks winter to me because it's all the blues and stuff. And, and I think it'd be pretty. This is a minted macaroon. And these have got a lot in it, like 355 yards, and it's a number four weight. So that's a pretty one. Okay. And then I ended up getting... Another one, and I am really loving green for some reason this year. I really, 
I don't know. I'm just really gravitating towards green now and red. And this one is another one that I thought was beautiful. You can actually see the center of that one there better. Isn't that pretty, all the greens? And this is called Gelato's Mamato. I think I said that right. 355 yards and then number four, same as the other. Beautiful. And then I got one more, and this one screams fall to me. And it is called Color by Numbers. Some of these names. <laughs> anyway, that shows it better. Isn't that pretty? All the fall colors. The gold and the, that's kind of a greenish looking gold. I don't know. Two different looking golds. The green and the green. I don't know. It's just beautiful. So I ended up getting some of them. And they had their yarn on sale for 30% off. And I, and then I forgot. I ended up running across this one. I've never used this one before. And this one is called uh, Yarn Bee Urban uh, Chic or Chic or Chick. Uh, Urban Chick, I guess. <laughs> You, oh my, I can't say that word. Anyway, it's green. <laughs> oh, I can't spell, I can't read. That's all right. But anyway, it's got like all different kinds of green. It's got gray. It's a beautiful color. And I can see another scarf out of this one. And I got two of this. And this guy, this has got 275 yards and it's a number. It's a number three, so it's a smaller one. But I'm anxious to get started with it. And then I end up just picking some solid colors. I got like the olive green and the light sage. And I can't remember. A few other blues because I needed a blue to do my uh, one of my characters of one of those patterns that I bought from Mary Smith. Yeah, so anyway, that's what I got there. Okay, I'm going to have to make room here. I'm going to just put them over here. They'll be okay. <laughs> like I said, I've got a mess right in front of me. Okay, my next finished object I want to share with you. I was really excited about this because when I was at Hobby Lobby, I'm fixing to reach over there to show you what I found. You guys know how I love my vintage truck. Well, I just so happened while I was there, I got to looking around because you can't, me personally, I can't just go straight to the yarn I have to look around at everything else and because you know it's right there at the door <laughs> and so I happen to look around and they they're starting to get their spring stuff out so I was really excited and I wanted to see what they're what they had and I'm always always have my eye out for the vintage truck because that's the one thing I, I really want to get my hands on and just so happened and let me reach for it over here I hadn't even taken the tag off look what I found I found the vintage truck soap dispenser with the little strawberries in the back. So now I'm doing my kitchen in strawberries. Yep. Um, I was super pumped when I saw that. So now I got my eye out for strawberries. <laughs> so I, I wanted to incorporate some crochet stuff in there associated with strawberries. Because I do have a vintage cookie jar that's a McCoy that is a strawberry. I'll have to. Oh, and speaking of that, I'm uh, I'm going to I am going to start another channel because I'd said something before about just showing nothing but my uh, vintage finds that I have to share. That way, I, I guess just keep it separate or whatever. But anyway, um, some of you guys uh, showed interest in it, so I'm going to go ahead. I am going to do it. Uh, I still haven't really come up with a name yet. It's probably going to be something simple, just. Angelia's uh, vintage treasures or something I don't know but anyway uh, I'll I'll do a video and then I'll let you know but uh yeah I'll, I'm excited about it and I just hope this coming year we're able to do uh they are able to go to different shops and stuff that the ones that I normally go to will open up I do have one that's open now but the other one doesn't open until spring so anyway, I'm hoping I can find some strawberry stuff. Uh, the one that I was talking about, I found it at a flea market last year, and I'll have to share that on there. I was super excited. You know, okay, back to this. Um, 
what I did today. Oh my gosh, I was so excited whenever I seen this pattern because I wanted to do a strawberry. And so I found this pattern right here. This is a dishcloth. Now this is, I have it wrote down somewhere. I've lost my notes under all this. This is, oh, here it is. This is called Granny Strawberry Dishcloth by Lily and Sugar Cream. It's on Yarnspiration website and Mikey from the Crochet Crowd is the one that gives the tutorial on it. But isn't that cute? Oh, I just love it. And so, um, this would be cute just to hang up there. And I thought about just hanging it on the knob in my kitchen. But I'm, I'm sure I'll end up making another one and just using it. But it's so cute. But this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in cotton and it's red. This one is Sage. And this, it's this one right here. I'm sorry. And then the green stuff that I decided to, to double it together because on the pattern in his tutorial it don't he don't show doing that I just decided to do it and it's this red heart you can get it at Walmart so that's where I got this one and it is called it's, this is lime and so I took it and just stuck it with this one and did the leaf on it but I just think it's so cute so yeah that's my strawberry. I was really excited about that. And this didn't take long at all to make. It was really easy. So I'm planning on making more. And I got my eye out on a pot holder tomorrow. <laughs> pot pad or whatever you call it. But anyway. Okay. And I think my whips. I need to get to my whips. Boy, this video is going to be long. I normally don't make them that long. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of, I guess, all over the place. But been a little bit since I've done a video and I'm I did a little bit on my Tunisian but I'm gonna hold off I'm still procrastinating on what needles to get but I'm going to look again I just been crocheting a lot and so or trying that is okay the whip that I'm gonna show you is the one I showed you the other day down here grab it it's the Mrs. Claus and it's by Mary Smith it's a paid for pattern and I finally finished the other hand, but boy, howdy, I messed up. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but she is going to have one hand bigger than the other. <laughs> but I'm not starting over again. I don't know what happened, but that's okay. I think it'll still work. But anyway, this is a uh, light peach Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Mainstay and mainstay, white and red. That's as far as I got, and I put her to the side for a while. But, boy, look at the difference. I really messed up on that one. <laughs> but, you know, when you got her hands on and she's holding a tray, I don't think it's going to matter. But she'll be cute when I get her done. I just kind of hadn't been in the mood right now. I want to do this other, so I'm not going to force myself. That's the one reason why I don't, I just can't. I started to do a goal video, but then I, I sat down and I started writing it out. Uh, two days later, I changed it again, and then I changed it again and finally decided I can't do goals. <laughs> I changed my mind too much, and then I know I won't do it. So I'm just, I'm one of those, I fly by the seat of my pants on what I make. <laughs> okay, now my whip. I'm excited about this one. I started this one tonight. I did find a pattern up there, and it was beautiful. But something told me to go and look at all the reviews on it. And I guess there was a lot of issues with the pattern. And I guess the, the designer never got back with them to explain to them. I don't know why, what the deal was. So it had to take somebody in the group to figure it out. And then they posted what it was. And then I finally, I said, I'm not going to deal with it. It was a beautiful, beautiful afghan. But I decided not to do it. So I'm just going to go with the regular chev chevron blanket by uh, Jada and Stitches. I forgot there for a minute. And I'm just doing a, I'm wanting to do a Valentine one. And so I thought this would be the easiest way for me. It's just a lap gang just to throw on the back of my couch. 
And here, I got started tonight. Some of these almost look like bobble stitches. I think, I don't know what I did, but it's still going to turn out all right. But this is, all of this I'm fixing to show you is mainstay uh, yarn from uh, Walmart. And this one's just pink. And then I am, I'm going to do it in uh, red. And then I've got this color of pink, which I don't think they carry that one anymore. This was their mainstay too, and I haven't seen this one. They switched it to this one. And I think I got this earlier this year or last year. And then, um, but they do have a pink that's pretty close to this. And then, uh, white. And I'm just going to alternate it. And I got the red, but it's fell down here on the floor. Right here. <laughs> I'm going to do it in red too. So I'm going to alternate it, all those different colors. And so I think that'll be a really pretty afghan just to throw on the back of my couch. And I might whip up a, a heart pillow or something like that to put on there. I still got to make my pillow for the other one, the winter one. But I'm just kind of scattery. I just, what do they call that? Startitis? I've been doing I've been doing it, but then I'd frog it because I wasn't happy with it. I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, I guess that's all I got to show you. I've been on here way too long. I normally don't make them this long, but I've been really chattery. So but I wanted to share all that with you guys and and uh, and everything. So I'm going to hop off here and uh, put everything back. And I guess I will be uh, heading off and see what else I can get into. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will be chatting at you real soon. <laughs>